Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you the inside of this um, Toyota um, vacuum leak detection pump. I was having a check engine light on my 07 Toyota Yaris, and um, this guy is apparently the failure. So what I did is I cut the band off with a hacksaw. I just kind of angled it and sawed it. You can see I kind of got the case a little bit. But once I get it put back together, I'll probably zip tie it and then use some um, silicone sealant. Um, so there's a couple things inside here. One is this plunger valve, which you can actually test. Um, there's a couple of things in here you're going to notice. There's two... Here, let me get a thing to point at here. This one and this one here. These two pins test the solenoid. This guy right here. Okay, it doesn't matter positive, negative, doesn't matter. Now, this one here is the negative for the motor, for the vacuum motor, and this is the positive. So if you're outside the car and you want to see if the part is working, you can put 9 volt battery or 12 volt, whatever, negative, positive. Do not touch these. There's a sensor board inside, and if you touch these or short it, you will have to go buy yourself a new one. So do not touch these at all. If you think you're going to touch them, put something over them before you do the test. So outside the car, you can test this. this. You'll hear a click, click, and you'll see this little... Um, well, you can't see it, but on the back side here, there's a plunger in there, and you'll see it move up and down, right? And what that does is it closes off airflow to here. So powers, it goes down or up, and then it closes off this flow. So um, the failure point in this guy is this motor right here. Now, the motor itself is fine. Um, and you can test that. By those little pins I pointed out earlier. Negative, positive on the end here. Okay. So those pins right there. Oops, come on, focus. Those pins right there. You can test it and you'll hear it go re. Well mine was like tick 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 tick. It was like having a hard time spinning. So whatever this is, I mean it's plastic, but it's has a weird consistency to it. I don't know exactly what it is per se. Um, carbon, plastic, something. I don't know. But anyways, these little fins are inside here. This is a spinner motor. The motor's in the back side. I don't want to flip it because you're gonna see these little things fall out. Um, but basically, it spins around in here, and it creates a vacuum, right? Which then goes down in there. So what happens is the motor, this thing here, um, had bits of like fuel, hydrocarbon, whatever, build up on it, which I've wiped off already. I wish I wouldn't have to show you. But it's just a little bit. Um, and then this metal plate right here had some on it as well. You can see it there. See right there, it was all full of hydrocarbons, like gummy nastiness. So what you'll do is you'll take this apart very carefully. Do not unsolder the wires. Just be very careful um, when you're taking this apart. And you'll clean this, this whole area right here. Clean it really well and um, then put it back together. And what will happen is this little motor then will um, work again and it will create vacuum. Now, when you're in here, you got this apart, you're going to do a couple different things as well. One right here, you're going to seal this. I'm not going to tell you what to use because, honestly, I don't know what to use. But you're going to want to seal this because inside here, there's an O-ring. And the vacuum can actually leak. So you want to seal up this guy here in case that O-ring is leaking. And then there's another one, too. Here's the other one. This little baby one right here. This one tends to crack. So if you pulled this apart, you would see that there's an O-ring inside there. And the O-ring itself 
cracks and then you have leaks through here. So seal this. I mean, silicone, whatever. Whatever you gotta use, just seal it to where it's not gonna leak again. If you wanna, you know, JB weld it or whatever, just seal those up so nothing goes in and out of there, okay? Also, when you take this apart, oops, this little guy right here is gonna fall out. And you're like, where did that come from? Well, it just sits in there like that. And then when it goes in there, it goes into that little pin. You can kind of see the mark from it. See the mark? See it? Okay. So, you got what you need. Put it back together. Seal this up really well. Just remember, it's building vacuum in there, so you want everything sealed. So do your due diligence. Clean it up really good. That clamp is not going to go back on, so um, my plan is just to zip tie around it. Snug it down with some silicone and say a little prayer and hope for the best. But anyways, that's inside the little um, vacuum pump. This is on, I believe, Scion TCs, uh, Toyota Corollas, and Toyota Yaris. Maybe other applications, but here is the part number right here. Um, and yeah, so that's how you fix it. Um, Hopefully mine works when it's all back together. And if it is, I'm gonna post this video. If it's not, this will go in the trash. But um, if you haven't already, um, like my channel, subscribe. That does help me out quite a bit on my end. Um, I would really appreciate it. If you enjoy these videos and you want me to keep making them, hit the subscribe button, hit a like button. Um, we really appreciate it. Thank you, have a good day.